My name is Jariah. You can call me Jay-Z or Young Thunder. I'm almost 11 years old and the fourth child of this family. My long hair makes people think I'm a girl, but deep down, I'm a wild child. My family calls me a human puppy dog. That's because I love to play in the dirt and snuggle. Hi mom, happy Mother's Day, I love you. I hope you get a lot of coffee even though you don't need it and a lot of chocolate even though you don't need that at all. I love you, Mom. Shibba! Shibba! Every time, Jake Dry sees snow. He has to traipse through it for some weird reason. You didn't want to like roll around in it and make sure your hair was like frozen solid. I'm sorry, I, I complained a lot. Sorry, I'm sometimes different. Are you gonna stop being a crybaby? I can't eat chicken. I can't eat chicken. I can't eat chicken. I can't eat chicken. Hurry, you got 10 seconds. I'm gonna go get the cornbread. My favorite pastimes are debating and annoying people. When I'm not doing that, I love to mount bike. I love food, and my dream when I'm older is to have my own food truck. But guess what? The jump starters aren't charged. <sighs> they do not come charged. So we are getting more synergy again. I am Jariah Zachary, and this is who I am. You know the suits like the, um, the ones that... I'm listening. I want a pillow pet for my birthday. <laughs> and you know those, um, the... You just lost all your masculinity. You think that, that, that's how he has. Here you go. And a onesie, and a onesie. Okay. You, put, you tucked it again. Don't do it. I didn't. All I did was curl it like that. Yeah, yeah see, hate, that's what I'm saying. I hate that. No. It's annoying. Just for the video, you want to be cool. You're going to see this when you're a teenager and be like, I wanted to look cool. I don't want it. Get over it. All right, feet down. Can you just sit still? This is Jariah in a nutshell. He doesn't stop moving. Or talking. So welcome. This week is meet Jariah. Jariah, spell your name. J-I-R-A-I-Y-A. -I -I yeah, it's a little different. We have yet to meet a Jariah ever. When I was pregnant with Jariah, we thought we should do something different. I mean, I had a Daniel, a Gabriella, and Isabel. So we wanted to go away from these more biblical names or common names. We wanted to go with something different. And our kids were into Naruto. Naruto. And so there is one of the characters in that was Jariah. And we looked at each other. While we were shooting pool, remember? I'm like, yeah, let's go for it. Remember? Oh, yeah. And, you know, in the mix was even, you could have been Leonidas. <laughs> I would Meet have Leonidas. You. I would have paid you. <laughs> <laughs> that was my choice, but yeah. Young Jer Thunder. Young Thunder. He fits his name well. He's our fourth. fourth. He's our fourth. fourth. So, real quick Always recap has. if you just are new to our channel, we've been living in an RV for four years. We alternate between living in an RV and then traveling abroad. Um, we tend to travel adventurous, adventurously. We're always like, our travels aren't really city travels. We're looking for off the beaten places where we can hike, mountain bike, rock climb, surf. Uh, so Eat. we now have this cool fifth wheel. Before we've been traveling in a 30 foot class C RV, which we're about to go back into to hit a five month road trip. So 
we wanted to get before we get into all those videos this summer we want to try to let you into our family and meet each member so today is Jariah Jariah first thing what does Jariah love F O O D food everything so yeah everything is food with this guy what do we eat what are you gonna eat and it's kind of cool because I don't, I think it's just genetics but whatever it's it's kind of cool to see because uh, Victor's family your family like life revolves around food and making meals yeah. right your mom usually is making the next meal before everyone yeah. finishes the current meal and so when we go over to your families what he's a rock star because he eats everything and he has a great appetite and he's a debater to the bar like we've told you guys about each person's personality so that makes him e n T P P, which means he. Go ahead, you yeah, bring it. Tell me. I will do whatever it takes to get my way. I will fight to the bitter end to get my way. He always has a witty combat comment to make on everything, which is kind of funny because which I love it to begin it's with. It's kind of funny, like, except when you're saying go brush your teeth, and he wants to talk about. Well, I really shouldn't brush my teeth right now, or he just figures out a way not to brush his teeth. Right? Just go brush your teeth. And yeah. we'd say that he really should be a lawyer. I mean, the guy can. But it's too like, much money and work. So instead, what's your goal? Open a taco truck. Why? Because I like food. Well, because you like food, but where where were we traveling that like really inspired you? Do you remember that you're like, oh, I want a taco truck just like this place. Vancouver. Yeah, ta uh, we were in Tofino, Taco oh. Taco Fino. Remember? He was like, we. The best like knows ever. Yes. In Canada. Half your family. <laughs> it's just kind of fitting because half your family is Mexican. It makes well, they make mostly yeah. tacos, not burritos. But anyways, and you go to Canada and like, oh wow, these are the best burritos ever. Hey, they were good. That's one of the biggest things with Jirai is that he's a lot different than me, and I struggled because Danny, Gabby, and Isabel, like, there are big parts of me in them. And I feel like they're, well, he's extroverted, it's the big thing, and so it kind of unnerves me that he always wants to be loud in the center of attention. I'm loud! And, <laughs> yeah, and, and so, like, he's wired a little bit differently, and so uh, it, it was always a challenge for me because I always want to check him, like, no, don't do that. But some part of me goes like, wow, I wish I could have been like that as a kid. Um, anywhere we go, you know, he draws people in. He's He's got, like, I a little a bit like a sandlot. Yeah, he's got anywhere, any any campground that you're around for a little, any amount of time. Joy is usually making some some friends really some, quick. But he's kind of like funny because he's extroverted. He needs that, and he his energy draws people in, but because our family's so big and kind of weird that we hang out with each other so much, he doesn't really want to leave us and go play, but if we're not entertaining enough, then he's he's bored. And so it's a standing joke that like sometimes people come over to the campground, before, especially if it's a new place. Kid comes over like, hey, will you play? He's like, mm, I gotta go brush my teeth. Like, he's shy, but extroverted. How seven years old? Would you have he said don't... yes if it was yesterday? It was he the guy. Yeah, he'll never. If it was a new done. kid yesterday that came to the camp to the door, if he had a good vibe. Oh, okay. He thinks he reads vibes. <laughs> <laughs> so we love our new blanket, uh, Jariah. As extrovert, he's our peddler. Like the kid, Hi. if if I just like Thank give him affection, he's kind of like a dog. If I just yeah. pet him throughout the day, he's so happy. If he. Um, is in trouble like the worst would be if you spanked him remember because mm -hmm. he's just like busy. yes i have spanked my kids get over it but if you just like make time like if he's not feeling himself then you just start stroking his arm if you just snuggle with him in bed then he's he's good he, he i want a dog really bad they said like we could get a dog after um alaska it's really hard to travel and have a dog but Hey, I've been dead. Yeah. There's a dog. Yeah, I don't need a dog. Well, Jarrah's been cuddling. I mean, he start his cuddling started with Gabby, right? I yeah. mean, it's he's been he was really really bonded when he was a baby to Gabby. As a matter of fact, he would not fall asleep unless he twirled her hair, and a few times <laughs> he gotten his finger stuck and it's like blue. And he's screaming! Ah! <laughs> okay. Don't pull mom's hair out. 
you know, one of the biggest things with Jiraiya is that when we're rolling, especially because Daniel's a little bit older, and he usually likes, like, uh, I'm just going to hang out. If we're leaving somewhere, going to the store, going to explore, he'll Daniel hang out. So we'll go anywhere. Gabby, Isabel, Tati, you know, you see all these, and Robin, and, oh, you have four girls. And Jiraiya be like, I'm a dude. He says it all the time. If you had a dollar for every person who called you a girl, how I'd be a millionaire. It's partially for these luscious locks that he. Yeah, has. nobody pays attention. It's really amazing how much people don't like look at you, like look you in the eye, or like take the time. They just they're kind of like, We're oh, missing. so what girls are you do? What are you girls doing today? And he's like, he always sits, speaks up, and is like, dude, I'm a guy. Come on now. And then they look at him like, of oh, course yeah. you are. <laughs> You're wearing camel pants, t-shirt. You've killed 30 bad guys even while you're standing alive. Oh, yeah, tell them about that. Uh, yeah, well, Daniel's with, Daniel's like that, too. He, my kids are unique in, like, what they end up, their creative play, and it could be because of Danny's influence. But Jiraiya, like, we really can't buy him toys. It's so hard on his birthday because he ends up, what do we get you for your birthday usually? Like, a gun or okay, Not and then a gun. coupon book, right? Yeah, coupon a coupon book. book to go out to eat different places. Experience, travel. Experience. Experience. Because the kid, we can't buy him I'm extra room, so his, yeah, we should just buy him some people. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you buy a dog. <laughs> and and so yeah, he doesn't um. Like his Tell favorite, them. his favorite toys are like go find a stick in the campground. That's amazing, or a broom, a broom stick. You know, for the longest time he traveled. Um, Danny did karate in his youth, and we just had two bow staff that we traveled with. And you broke them. What? I, I think they lost one. Yeah, At any rate, I cut it in half. It's still there. So I mean, yeah, you no, two shorts. He plays yeah, with those, too. and on his, and then so we do buy him some. Were those Nerf guns. Hands. We buy him Nerf guns and swords, and that's also why, like, if he doesn't want to play, the kids from the campground just come to play with his guns. So every day. Jariah asked me the what same question. What are we question. doing tomorrow? I want to do something special every day. I don't like routine. I want everything different. And That's why I like to travel. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't even ask. All the other kids I asked, do you like to, do you like to travel? She's asking you. Yes. Okay, yes. okay do you um, talk question. about it a lot? Yes. He's always living in the future, which is I kind of like because uh, if when you meet, meet Victor and meet Robin, we're going to talk about how uh, that is a huge thing that's hard for us to, to overcome because my mind is too like in the future and Victor's is in the present and the past. And so Jiraiya is kind of fun for me to talk with because he's always like, oh, I want to go here and what are we doing tomorrow? And what, you know, he wants to, to think forward thinking, but then yeah. it sometimes is a little If you annoying. had one food... This is a good question. For the rest of your life, what would it be? Like, this is all you got. Burrito? Don't tell me. Burrito. Please. I think burrito has everything. It has vegetables, it has meat, it has bread, it has carbs, carbs, more carbs, and beans. <laughs> Do you have a favorite place we've traveled to? A good one. Mm. Okay, top ten. Hosiger, Germany. Okay. Uh, North North America, obviously. Where North America? Let's get more specific. U.S. Where? <laughs> like, um, Boise. <laughs> uh, Bend. Yes. Bend. Okay. Colorado. Yes. Um, do you like hiking? Yes. Yes. Okay. What's some of your favorite hikes you've done? Uh, St. Louis. St. Louis hike. Yeah. What? Wait, so no, it was the one with, with the really the fourteener, the fourteen mile, the one up Devil's Thumb. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Canada. That was in Lake Louise. That's uh, a great hike. Um, that's the one that's you have to Devil's Thumb. St. Louis, Lake Louise. Oh, oh. come on, you got to give it to him. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have been Devil's Thumb. Plain of Six Glaciers. That's what you're thinking of. Plain okay. of Six Glaciers. He was wrecked after that one for like yeah. two weeks. I got a whole thing of ice cream. Yeah. That was good. Oh, you did another. What about Tongariro? Oh, yeah, Tongariro. Yeah, your feet hurt. That hike, man, it's so cool. Remember, you go past Mount Doom, and the yeah. lakes are so pretty, but then you we go downhill for, like, five miles, and your get, feet just hurt. We didn't get to go up on, on top of Mount Doom. Sadly. Yeah, we didn't go on top of Mount Doom because it was just adding two more miles was too much. What about mountain biking? Oh, mountain biking, yes. I love what the, what's it called? Rotorua. Rotorua. Yeah, that was cool. 
Um, did he do anything where it fills, or did he not have a bike yet? Yeah, he did. Oh, but I'm an expert par, um, pump track. Better than her. <laughs> I so, uh, I tell Victor all the time that he has to be careful because... Another decade, Dry and I are going to get into some major trouble together, but... Shark caging. <laughs> Shark caging. Last night, what, did you want to go skydiving? I don't want to go skydiving. No? I'm just, I'm just scared. Being oh, honest. this is the other thing, though. Jariah is, as much of a debater and forward-thinking, he seems so edgy, he is the biggest Word. scaredy cat. Worry, worry. Oh, my goodness. What He's was a it? worrier. He's a worrier. He worries about, like, something about... Our family, the Y chromosome, has a lot of worrying type to Oh my gosh. <laughs> All three boys worry a lot. I'm sorry. It's not I'll, true. I fell asleep. Are you worried about I only worry sometimes. No, I'm bored with your comments. <laughs> I only worry sometimes, like a okay. fat tire. So, for example, what was it? The, there was a loud noise. What was that loud noise? It was like that. The other day. The roads were bumpy, and Jariah's like, Oh my gosh, do we have a flat tire? I'm really oh worried. No, I'm really... Gosh, this is not... You that was... Somebody... No, it's 100% true. You said that. <sighs> not about... true. We are going to introduce Jariah's arch enemy. Dun, dun, dun. Please enter. Hello, my name is Jeff. <laughs> here we go. Take a seat here. Sit, sit down. Try not to kill each other. So... So these two have been at war since the day she was born. But yet, the funny thing is when we start traveling, they play together all day long. They might fight also, but they play together from dawn to dusk. Do we? So, Do Tati, we? would you like to uh, interview Jariah? Hi, it's my brother. He is 10 years old. Tell us about, tell us about what you guys play together all day long. What, yeah, what kind guys? of stuff do you do together? Uh, we play superheroes. A lot. She gets annoyed because I make up so many. She just yeah. be like, Shush, Jariah! I want to talk now! Because <laughs> you talk for an hour! So pretty yeah. much, that's what I thought. Tati came into the interview, and Jariah took over the interview. They are both such dominant personalities, but Jariah's older and a little louder, so he can dominate. So, Jariah, you like hiking, you like mountain biking. Are there any other sports you like? Skiing. I want to learn how to jump to, like, really big airs and do stuff like that. Yeah, he was, uh, we learned how to ski and snowboard this, this, um, winter. And I was really amazed at how quickly he learned skiing and just the fact that we joked that he was a little fearful. He's a worrier, but he's not fearful. Like, he'll... The other day, we're on a bike ride, and he has his bat, and he's, like, twirling his bat, and he twirls it, it catches the front spoke, spoke and he wipes out. <laughs> so, it's we would have been, you would have been famous if I had caught it on video. It's so funny. So, he is not fearful in that part. He will, like, take a beating, but he works. So, you, um, with that, though, in mind, why don't you surf yet? Because, I don't, it's like, it's scary, like, you look into the water and you see nothing. Just it's hard to learn to surf in San Diego because the water's so dark. I think that is part of it. Like, oh, Gabby right learned now. when we were in Hawaii, so it helped overcome the fear because the water's clear. Oh, yeah, the first time we took Gabby, I brought Gabby to surf when we got back from okay. Hawaii. And it was cloudy, and it was kind of big that day. And there's sea lions really shallow. And so I'm like, don't worry, just paddle past the sea lions. And it's dark and murky. And she's like, ah, I don't want you. It, that, was, that was hard. But Jariah is going to have to learn to surf this just fall. has too much energy. Because he just I can't surf. sit still. Tati, like, I surf. Don't surf. It'll it'll Tati surfs. It'll be warm. Do you know how I'm going to get Jariah in the water, though? I'm going to take Tati in the water and be like, Tati, you're better at surfing than Jariah. Yeah, and who cares? Be like, She's better at some other stuff. I'm better at some other stuff than her. Oh, okay, that won't work? Dang it. He's surfing this. Just wait till, till September. We're never here in September when it's warm, but we'll be back in September when it's warm this year. And you're surfing because he's got too much energy. This is so dry. He's already like, I'm so bored. so bored. I sat still for 20 minutes 20 for this minutes. interview. Okay. Someone so uh, me. we have to. We forgot to cover homeschooling because some people were curious. You know how we homeschool. Do you homeschool? Uh, I. I don't know. Does it count as homeschooling? Like two subjects a day. Yeah. Do you always do two subjects a day? 
Yeah, most of the time. Yeah, for the last month. He's a, a solid month. I choose for the wise. Two, and that's like the trick. This kid, you can't do anything routinely for too long. It worked because I Wordly Wise works good for him. So it's like you finish this book in a month. You do two lesson or half a lesson every day. So 30 days, you're done with a whole year's of Wordly Wise in one month. That worked right. He finished it yesterday. Did you like it? Oh, there's a lot of stupid stories. I don't really get why. So you question everything. Yeah, yeah and there's some well, stupid words like I'm never going to use. Joe, what's your favorite book? You actually do like a little bit of reading. Yeah, I do. Uh, I like all the Rick Riordan books. Which one in particular? All. All. No, no so favorite. Okay. Except for the King Chronicles, I don't like. So, those like, you can't get him to do school, but uh, how long is it, the last book? How long I'm gonna take you to finish it? It took me a long time. Like, I'm asking. Three months, three weeks. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty I'm, busy. With I'm slacking right now. You like to read, but it, the more I study personalities, the more I realize that it's uh, it's his prospecting nature. He's hot and cold. He'll either read, which I'm like, maybe you're prospecting. Read like a ton, or read like nothing at all, and and I'm all it's like, nothing. and I'm we're kind of nothing. trying like every day just read a little bit. No, no, no. He'll like read for six hours one day, and then won't read again for six weeks. So his his all over the place. He likes. You do your math. Loves animals. Super oh, smart, but like, animals. like I kid you not. Sometimes I'm like, I taught you the same math. Like ten times in a row. One time I was doing times being wrong. I was starting at the left side. <laughs> One time? Yeah, a couple times. It was a full week. <laughs> <laughs> a full week. Frustrating. I was trying to the left side, going to the right. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can oh, walk God. to the zoo and he could tell us a lot of obscure <laughs> facts about every single animal. Oh, so a lot of his travel, where a lot of the places you want to travel are related to animals, right? Like what? Like what? I places? want to go to South Africa, Australia. A lot of Africa, actually. Yeah, like Astra, I feel like you keep asking me for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I South like Africa. I like to move it, move it. The kid can dance. Do you want to show no. him? Okay, fine. Maybe we have oh, a video. Only on. when we record a video for the vlog does he like to be that extroverted. But if you were all in the room, it's because it's on video. Oh, you've seen the videos. <laughs> so we go to Vegas when we were coming, when Uncle Mike this? brought us back from Salt Lake City a month ago. And we're at a karaoke bar, and a kid gets up there and sings a song. And we're like, God, oh, Drew, look, there's another kid doing it. And he's like, no. Okay. And steps up. Go ahead, tell us about it. I sing all of Bohemian Rhapsody. But he belted it out. And I, from what I can tell, I saw the video. It was like, everyone started singing with them in the, in the no, restaurant. No. They oh, cheered you on nicely. Yeah. yeah it was he nice. nailed it. But I wouldn't, what makes I Dry different is I don't know if anyone else would have done that. Oh yeah, Tati maybe, but not. Tati does not tell you what would do if I did it. If she, would, if secrets came on, it would have been on. <laughs> Is it going down? Yeah. If you're on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> now I sing that song. So I think we just we scratched at the surface. Scratched at the surface of Dry, yeah. Yeah. The cool thing is, I feel like oh, there's so many things to tell you about him, but. No, I don't worry. Time. There's. No, I don't worry that you're you're gonna get to know. Him. Follow our travels this summer as we go through Alaska, and see what this guy gets. Jariah might just take. Jariah and Tati. I, think I might get both my bear. I might be Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> uh, so Jariah stands out in our family as a, an extrovert, killing all the bad guys, always chasing down food, looking to get in trouble, not brushing his teeth or his hair. Thinking after he showers, he can, he can just put on the same underwear. It'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely speaking before he thinks. That guy has no filter. The only thing I'm scared about is bed bugs. But we love him so much for his uniqueness. Oh, and what he brings we didn't even tell you. We got this new fifth wheel so that everyone had a bed, but Jariah won't sleep in his. I don't like to sleep by myself. I don't care that other kids sleep by themselves. I don't care four-year-olds sleep by themselves. I don't like to. So he physical contact. Now like though, puppy. I can kind of get him to sleep by himself half the night by putting him on the floor, like next under the brother. bunk next to his brother. So he's kind of in a cave and hey, he feels like he's I someone have, there, but he still crawls into Danny's I had bed. I to go. I had to go to Danny's bed because the door was like open. half half open and then like the shadow of the name here. I'm like, oh. <laughs> but let him go down blue run skiing and he'll t actually you didn't even fall you never even fell like he'll j i probably could send him down a black diamond and he's only skied a handful of times and he'd be like whatever fine he'd fall he'd tell 
that's fine. But if there is the smell of propane, he might freak out that, that our motorhome's going to explode. I smoked propane once in our bathroom. It freaked me out. Okay. It's amazing you smoked some type of gas in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't your own? <laughs> <laughs>